Hello everyone, welcome to today's special episode on health tip. I am your host, Gift Matthew, and on today's episode, we're going to be talking about tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, according to medical experts, is an illness that majorly affects the lungs. This serious infection is caused by a bacterium called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a highly communicable disease that spreads when a person with the illness coughs or sneezes. It can also be contacted from a microphone used by an infected person as droplets with the germs can be on the surface of the mic. It can also be contacted from small airborne droplets of the germs in the air created by coughing or sneezing where a person breathes in the droplets and the germs enter the lungs. Tuberculosis spreads easily in crowded places like weddings, events, birthday parties or markets. Medical experts say that people with HIV, diabetes, severe kidney disease, cancers of the head, neck and blood, malnutrition or people that smoke tobacco are at a higher risk of catching tuberculosis because of weakened immune systems. Medical experts also advise people with weak immune systems to take airborne precautions such as wearing a protective mask. The first stage of the tuberculosis infection according to medical experts is called the primary infection stage where the immune system cells capture the germs. Normally, the immune system may completely destroy the germs, but some captured germs may still survive and multiply. If the immune system isn't strong enough, it may not be able to destroy the germs at all. Most people don't have symptoms during a primary infection while some people may get flu-like symptoms such as cough, tiredness and low fever. After the primary infection stage, the next stage is the latent tuberculosis infection stage. This is where the immune system cells build a wall around lung tissue with the tuberculosis germs, preventing the germs from getting into the lungs or doing any harm. There are no symptoms during the latent tuberculosis infection stage. The next stage after the latent tuberculosis infection stage is the active tuberculosis disease stage. This is when the immune system can't control an infection and the germs or bacteria spread throughout the lungs. Active tuberculosis stage can happen right after the primary infection stage if the immune system is weak. Some symptoms of active tuberculosis disease may include cough, chest pain, fever, loss of appetite, unintentional weight loss, feeling sick, coughing up blood or mucus, pain when breathing or coughing, night sweats and tiredness or fatigue. Infants usually have different symptoms from adults. These symptoms may include being sluggish or not active, vomiting, poor feeding, continuous cry, and poor growth. If you have active tuberculosis disease, you will need to take steps to prevent other people from getting an infection. These steps include staying at home. Staying indoors will prevent the disease from spreading. As you spend time at home, avoid close contact with members of your household and sleep in a separate room. Ventilate the room. Tuberculosis germs spread more easily in small closed spaces. Open the windows to allow proper ventilation in the room. Cover your mouth when sneezing or coughing and wear a face mask around people. If you have any of the symptoms of tuberculosis, you might want to visit the doctor to get tested and treated. You must get emergency care if you cough up blood or have blood in your urine or stool. Thank you for staying with us all through today's episode. I remain your host, Gift Matthew. Stay safe and avoid contacting tuberculosis. Have an amazing day.